Over the next six months, the Defense Department will weigh whether to develop a new weapon for the F-35 fighter jet that will enable it to strike down an intercontinental ballistic missile in the early stages of flight. And it's the Pentagon's lead official for developmental technologies who is bullish on the prospect, telling reporters January 17 that a new weapon could be both operationally effective and low cost. For certain regional geographies North Korea comes to mind we actually think it's entirely possible and cost-effective to deploy what I will loosely call air-to-air -air interceptors, although possibly of new design, on advanced aircraft, and, using the aircraft as either sensor or weapons platforms to effect a missile intercept, said Mike Griffin, Under Secretary of Defense for Research and Engineering. We will, as the report implies, be studying that again, but I've seen recently any number of assessments several assessments, which indicate that this is something we should be looking at. The Trump administration's Missile Defense Review, released Thursday after months of anticipation, carves out an enticing new potential role for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The jet has a capable sensor system that can detect the infrared signature of a boosting missile and its computers can identify the threatening missile's location, the review states. It can track and destroy adversary cruise missiles today, and, in the future, can be equipped with a new or modified interceptor capable of shooting down adversary ballistic missiles in their boost phase, and could be surged rapidly to hot spots to strengthen U.S. active defense capabilities in attack operations. The report gives the Air Force and Missile Defense Agency six months to deliver a report on how best to integrate the F-35 into the larger missile defense architecture. But with the armed services struggling to figure out how they can afford ramping up procurement as well as operating and sustaining the jets, it remains to be seen whether the Defense Department can afford having the F-35 as an ICBM killer. While the review states that both new and modified interceptors will be evaluated as part of the study, Griffin said that a modified version of the Amram the Raytheon made air-to-air -air missile that can be carried by the F-35 inside its weapons bay probably won't be able to do the job necessitating the creation of a new interceptor. Even if the Pentagon decides to forego investment in an ICBM killing weapon for the F-35, it may be able to leverage the fighter jet's extensive sensor suite, added MDA Head Lieutenant General Samuel Greaves. We have plans to integrate the F-35 into our missile tests. To assess the capability as part of the overall ballistic missile defense system or missile defense system, he said. Not all in the defense community are enthused by the prospect of involving the F-35 in missile defense. When news broke Wednesday evening that the Pentagon will consider a role for the F-35 in intercepting ICBMs, some analysts in the arms control community balked. The broad consensus among those experts is that although intercepting an ICBM with the Joint Strike Fighter could be technically feasible it would be a poor use of the technology. Throughout the Missile Defense Review, the Pentagon shows interest in developing boost phase missile defenses, said Kingston Reef of the Arms Control Association. However, he pointed to a 2012 report by the National Academy of Sciences that said such technologies are not practical or feasible. Long-standing challenges to effective boost phase defense include the short time ICBMs are in powered flight, the need for the defense platform to be located very near launch sites, and the availability of faster-burning solid-fueled missiles as a countermeasure, Reef said. In short, F-35s, equipped with a new interceptor, would have to be located very close to missile launch sites to be within range of an interceptor in the boost phase and it would be very expensive to keep the planes on extended patrol and take them away from other missions, he said. A drone would be a better option than the F-35. And even then there would still be big challenges as the 2012 National Academies report noted. Jeffrey Lewis, director of the East Asia Non-Proliferation Program at the James Martin Center for Non-Proliferation Studies, tweeted similar concerns about using air intercepts.
Grenfin did not elaborate on why he believed an interceptor capability for the F-35 could be delivered at low cost, nor what assessments he was basing his statements on. But defense watchers have long speculated on whether the Pentagon would eventually pursue some kind of a role for the F-35 within the ballistic missile defense enterprise. Republican Rep. Duncan Hunter, citing research he apparently saw from Los Alamos National Laboratories, said the F-35 could use an AMRAAM to take down an ICBM in the boost phase, reported inside defense in November 2017. A December 2017 report from Defense One detailed a 2014 experiment conducted by the Missile Defense Agency in Northrop Grumman, which posited whether an F-35 could use its distributed aperture system to monitor and track ICBMs. At least two F-35s would be needed in range to converge on the exact location of the target, Northrop officials told the news organization. From there, the F-35s would be able to take data from the sensors, run it through algorithms developed by Northrop and MDA's Enterprise Sensor Lab, generate a 3D moving picture of the missile's trajectory, and convey it over the Link-16 tactical data exchange, Defense One reported. Thank you for watching my video, don't forget likes, comments, and share. My videos are viral and continue to subscribe to other military videos from me, by subscribe my channel so as not to miss other recent military videos.